Our group spent a long time trying to figure out what act of service we could do in order to benefit our community. We wanted to educate the people in the Lake Travis area on the effects pollution has on our environment. We wanted to focus our efforts on water pollution because we all enjoy being on the water. After thinking long and hard about what we could do, we decided that Crosswater Yacht Club was the perfect place for us. We then made a plan and broke down what we needed to do in order to succeed. After some thinking, we were able to make a script, gather supplies, and print out copies of our poster. We picked a nice day so there would be more foot traffic and families out on the marina. When we arrived, we found even more people than we could have ever expected. This meant that we could spread our message even further. After seeing so many families, we knew we had to get to work right away. After we began speaking to the families, we were very surprised how interested they were in learning about the pollution in and around their lake. No matter the demographic that people fit into, they all surprisingly were interested. We were able to inform people from as young as a toddler to people all the way into their 60s. After we informed the people of the problem our lake has with pollution, we offered to take any trash they might have in or around their boat. We made sure they knew that this trash often ended up in the lake, and that's why we wanted to take it from them. We made it clear that we would dispose of this trash properly. As well as taking their trash, we offered a variety of changes they can make in their lives in order to help prevent pollution. Along with this, we gave them charity websites where they can donate and help prevent water pollution. After we collected trash from people at the marina, as well as trash we found just lying around, we took it to a dumpster where we knew it wouldn't end up in the lake. However, before we threw this trash away, we wanted to try and find out some more specifics on what ended up in the lake. We thoroughly counted and sorted specific pieces of trash into two big categories that we found fit. These categories consisted of paper and plastics. We were able to discover that 57% of trash we collected was plastic, while only 43% was paper. This was not necessarily surprising, but we were disappointed to see it. Plastics take hundreds of years to fully decompose, while paper only takes a few weeks. This means that the majority of pollution in our lake will not be going anywhere for a long time. As a whole, we saw this day as a small step in the long process we have in order to help stop water pollution. Many people are worried about the pollution in our oceans across the world, and it becomes very easy to forget about the lakes that we have sitting right in our backyards. I think our project helped open people's eyes and allowed them to realize how much of an effect their trash has on their own lake. Overall, this is a great experience as we got to inform and teach people what is going on around them while also enjoying a great day out at the marina. I believe the biggest thing we learned from this experience is that a little tiny service such as just talking to some people about pollution can go a long, long way in helping save our earth. So we challenge you to go out and just take a few hours to spread awareness and inform people on how they can save our wonderful planet.